Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this the other day and they were asking about a mock-up and I was a little bit confused. They're a sublimation printer. Evidently the dog bone shape is white. So anything that you print that's either not there or white is gonna be white. So this looks pretty good. Now this was done, this looks like some real paint. There are some artistic people out there that could do this. I'm not one of them. But I've come up with a couple of different smear paints I'm talking about. So let's use the artistic media tool and let's just make a shape and let's go up to object and break the artistic media apart and then grab that line that's not really in there. And also with the person I'm doing this for, you're gonna to wanna to use CMYK or whatever your printer uses. Uh, I'm using RGBs. So I'm just making a bunch of colors and I just, if I would have used the uh, control D key, I wouldn't have to do this, but one time, whoop. Sorry about that. My offset is quite big. If you control D and then just move this just a little bit, and then you can make another color. And those two colors are too close to the same. And this would be the advantage of uh, using CMYK. There's probably more colors. And uh, I'm still not using control D, but, and also you could flip some of these around and get a different look. And I'm running out of unique colors. They're in her original design, it's kind of that pinkish. But you could do a lot of this, and then you could actually control D and make a duplicate and kind of mimic those colors again and actually flip them. Well, that wouldn't look halfway too bad right there. But then you need to do something with this. So if you group this together, control G, and then you could get the twirl tool or the attract and repel and just you know, do things like this, just go back and forth, changing it up a little bit. And because the dog tag is white, anything that you're not hitting is gonna be, uh, let's use a smear tool. It does a pretty good job of blending things. And, and you could add more colors. And if you, you know, I don't have any artistic ability, but there are some other things you could do since this is a group, you could hit the plus key and then mirror it and it's too symmetrical, but what you could do is take this over here, and, and these are just suggestions, I don't do this. I'm just thinking outside the box, and there's probably, hopefully somebody will chime in and tell us how to do this even better. But you could do things like that and get a totally different look, colors, and add more, you know, I should have added some purples, and you could, you could always add later. You know, you could take a, um, I need to find a purple. And don't forget to take away the outline because the outline's gonna be pretty, pretty neat. And then you could take the twirl tool and isn't it funny it twirls on itself and do things like that and then bring it into the graphic and it's either gonna be on front or go to object in order and put it to the back of page and then it only shows up some spots. But there's a lot you can do with that. Control D, mirror it, mirror it the other way. You know, so what I'm saying is that if the dog tag is white and you could actually add colors, let's put, I know I'm talking and not doing what I said I was gonna do, I want this box because then we we can make the box a different, a totally different color. Let's make it. Well, we got a lime green. Let's make it a dark green, and then take all this stuff and put it inside of our box, and go to object, order, back a page. We'll order front of page and that for just playing around that isn't half bad 
and then bring in your, of course, you'd want to make your drawing smaller. Uh, let's bring our dog bone to the front of the page. There's your dog bone. And, you know, like this would actually need to make, you know, you wouldn't want to print, I would guess. Let's control G and group that together. I didn't hit it all. Control G and group that together. And then you could bring your colors down. And I already see we need some better colors. And you could, you know, you could add colors. You know, what's so nice about this, I imagine you could smear that over there. But anyway, just my idea. Maybe somebody will chime in on how to do it a little differently. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.